that I'm here to tell you that once you learn how to use executive functioning skills as part of your parenting toolkit, your day does not need to be controlled by your child's disorganization, by your child's inability to focus and keep track of all the things. Executive functioning coaching can really help your child be more organized. It can help them be more focused and it can really help you feel like you have more options and are more in control of how in the world you're going to support your child. I'm going to walk you through how parents just like you can and actually should be involved in executive functioning coaching so that your child's everyday life becomes easier and they make progress every single day. So executive functioning coaching um, a lot of times it's thought of as just something that the kids do, but I'm here to tell you that this is something that can totally change your parenting perspective. When parents learn how to use executive functioning strategies and techniques to help their kids, all of a sudden their overwhelm is gone, they feel more in control, they feel like they finally have hope to help their child that may have ADHD uh, or just struggles with attention. Listen, it can really help your child with so many things. It can help them learn how to set up tasks, start tasks and complete tasks on their own. It can help them start prioritizing what's more important. It can help them organize their space, put in some systems so there's not so much chaos around them. It can even help them regulate their emotions so that their response is not so big and sets them off on a tangent. But what people do not talk about is the best way, the most efficient way to really make gains with executive functioning skills is to bring you, the parent, in to the equation. When parents are part of the equation, when it comes to executive functioning skills, they are there to provide those repeated touch points that research shows over and over. Accountability and repeated touch points are what really help make executive functioning skills be this new concept out in the world to something that your child actually owns. And it's with that accountability piece that parents are in the perfect position to deliver because who else is with your kid every day? You are. Parents are the ones that can apply these strategies on the go. Things are constantly changing with your child. After all, humans, we're all very dynamic, right? So when parents are empowered with executive functioning strategies, they are there and they can go ahead and implement some of these strategies on the go when your child really needs them the most. And the best part is when parents learn about executive functioning skills and how to apply and what your child needs the most, parents can apply these skills and strategies over and over throughout the years when your child change, when their grades change, when their rooms change, you might move to a new household. The parents will have this as part of their parenting toolkit forever and they can use it with their child through college and adulthood even. But before we go any further into any kind of executive functioning program, these two things are non-negotiable for any executive functioning program. I do include them in my executive functioning program. The first thing is we need to know what your child's executive functioning skills are. What are they good at? What areas do they need improvement in? Every child has their own unique executive functioning profile. And um, before we do anything, we need to find out what they are because if not, if we just start applying random ideas, um, we are literally just, uh, you don't need a program for that. You can just Google tips and tricks for executive functioning skills and just start trying them. So make sure you know what your child's executive functioning strengths and weaknesses are before you do anything. Second part is research shows the most important part of executive functioning coaching is not only the intervention, not the process, not the program, but frequent touch points throughout the week. Uh, accountability throughout the week. And that is best done over and over in all of my years of practice when I have a parent, a mom, a dad, an awesome adult in the house that I can grab and say, listen, this is what we are doing in our session. Our session is done in two minutes. At home, this is what's really going to be helpful and beneficial for your child. So what better way than to bring the parent into the session and then the parent is with the child and then the parent gets to provide those very powerful touch points 
and the very powerful pieces of accountability. Unfortunately, that accountability piece is the piece that I find missing in most executive functioning coaching programs um, that are either embedded in the community or even in, in the classrooms. I see if I've talked to any schools that do have executive functioning um, skills in their classroom, it's like this one special class, like maybe in the beginning of the day or the kids maybe have to get there 15 minutes earlier. So again, it's really hard to carry it over because there's no continued touch points or accountability throughout their day. Same thing happens when um, parents find somebody to help with executive functioning coaching skills and there's nobody else following up except that one time a week touch point you have with the coach. That's usually not enough. So we are going to get into a case study. I'm gonna tell you guys about Mary's mom. Okay, Mary's mom knew that Mary struggled with attention. She had been told by uh, professionals uh, via testing that executive functioning skills were inconsistent and you know she needed to work on them, right? So Mary's mom being the great mom with great intentions really wanted to help her. She tried checklists, she tried calendars, agendas. I mean, it is kind of fun buying supplies for executive functioning skills, right? Post-its, she tried all the things, but it wasn't until Mary's mom learned what exactly Mary's executive functioning profile was that she could really hone in and target the right executive functioning skill to make progress that Mary actually needed. Another reason that we wanna make sure we know what the child's executive functioning profile is, we are the awesome trusted adults, right? We come on board and we're like, hey honey, we know this is difficult, this is hard. We're gonna try this strategy, fill in the blanks with whatever you've tried in the past to help your day go better, to help your homework afternoons go better. And we randomly try these tips and tricks and we're excited and our kids excited and the tip and trick doesn't work, right? So this leads us to be disappointed, frustrated, but the most concerning part about trying these random tips and tricks is this leaves your child uh, maybe subconsciously not trusting your ideas because you've tried a couple of ideas with me and they do not work. So I don't wanna get hopeful and I've seen it over and over again. So it's super important to know your child's executive functioning profile before you go ahead and try an intervention. So the progress that Mary's mom had was really quite remarkable once she knew her executive functioning profile. Mary was able to um, stick to a routine, right? Um, set up a routine at home and this is the beautiful part when we get our kids' executive functioning skills bubbling up and, and working, right? So we come on board, you know, the families that work with me, they hire me so I can help the parents know what strategies to implement with the children. And then the parents get better at implementing the strategies. And then eventually the children get better at implementing the strategies. So Mary was able to come up with a strategy on her own she had to check with her teacher and check with mom because she kept forgetting some a book a notebook a worksheet something at school so she buddied up with a friend and was like listen you're always forgetting your water bottle i'm always forgetting some kind of thing that i need for homework so let's have a quick little check-in while we're at our cubbies so this was mary able being able to bubble up her own solution to a problem that she had because she had had the practice with the strategies because her mom was so good at helping her with it so what Mary's mom, Mary's mom did three things that really changed the game for her. Number one, she learned what Mary's executive functioning profile was, meaning she knew what Mary was good at and she knew what Mary was struggling with. So she knew what kind of supports to bring into place to really help Mary. Then she was able to prioritize and say, okay, I think we really should help Mary with this part of her day. We came up with a strategy, we put it into place, we simplified it as simple as possible um, because we need all of these strategies to be sustainable, right? Once we figure out what, that they work, we can't have a strategy that has 20 steps to it because it's gonna be so hard to do on an everyday basis. So finding a simple strategy that is really linked to an executive functioning weakness was the key for Mary's mom. And the third thing she did was she was able to tweak the plan that she had made 
make it a little bit longer, um, have it address the next thing because she was able to really provide the supports with the executive functioning profile, with the strategic strategy. She could tweak the strategy had put into place, either changing it up a little bit or expanding it so it could uh, cover a longer routine. Mary and her mom really became a great team when it came to figuring out executive functioning skills and which strategies were gonna work for Mary and which strategy Mary's mom was comfortable implementing so that you could see progress. Now remember, this didn't happen overnight. This took a while, this took practice, this took learning about executive functioning skills, but the results were worth it because now Mary's mom felt confident and comfortable in helping Mary come up with solutions. And as I said in my example, um, it even carried over into Mary. She was comfortable going into school and being like, okay, I'm really stuck here. Let's get a buddy system going on and let's see if this helps me. Um, and that's exactly what we want. We want the executive functioning skills to come maybe from an external support, but our my end goal with every family I work with is we want the child to be set up for independence. And Mary's case, I like sharing it because it's a great example of it. So if this sounds like your family, that you guys have tried to help your child focus, you've tried to help them with routines, you've tried to help them with organization, and you just haven't found the right puzzle piece, I'm inviting you to look into executive functioning parent coaching so that you get to be the expert on how to help your kid. And this is exactly what I do in my executive functioning solutions program for parents just like you. So inside of my executive functioning solutions program, there's three non-negotiables. We need to find out what your child's executive functioning profile is. We need to figure out a customized strategy specifically for you and your child. And we need to have accountability and touch points that I can provide for my families throughout the week when and how it is convenient for busy parents just like you. Inside of my program, my goal is for each child to have their own specific plan. So if I've got Mary and Sally and Jimmy, they might be working on all three different, different strategies, three different approaches, but the framework is the same. All of these kids need to know what their executive functioning profile is. All of the parents and the kids need to figure out which strategy are we gonna work that's gonna make us the happiest and it's gonna be the easiest for us to see progress. And what is that accountability gonna look like, right? Are you gonna be um, sending a, a quick email with a question that happened? Are you going to show up to a live call? Uh, you don't like live calls, that's fine. You can just drop your question in, um, in the portal. Um, we talked about looking up a resource for routines and in my course portal, I have a program a mini, I call them um, micro workshops, right? Because we do not have time for a two hour workshop, but we um, have a micro workshops all about routines so that you can implement them. You can um, pull out the PDF, that's how you learn better. So it really has what parents need to really support their child with me guiding you. And I really love when we see um, the kids come up with their own strategies and we know it came from some of the work we've been doing with the, with the parent coaching sessions and with the resources in the program. That's like chef's kiss, right? When we see the kids being able to come up with their own strategies. So this sounds like something that you are interested in, go ahead and click the link below and you can learn more about my program. You can comment if you want more information and um, let me know what you think about executive functioning solutions for your family.